When setting up the correct MLA formatting and font of your Word document with Microsoft Office 2010, one of the first things you will want to check is the margins. To do so, on the Page Layout tab, click on the Margins icon and select Normal so that you have one inch margins at the top, bottom, left, and right of your paper. Next, you'll need to change the font styles since the default font is not set at MLA conventions. The most efficient way to alter the settings is to change the default font on your computer so that the next time that you open Word, it will automatically be set with the appropriate MLA font style. To do this, on the Home tab, click on the dialog box launcher in the lower right-hand corner of the font group. Under Font, select Times New Roman. For size, you want to click on 12. Next, click on the Set as Default button. Finally, select a box that says All Documents Based on the Normal Template and click OK. Now, each time that you open Word on your computer, it will automatically utilize the correct MLA font style. As you can see here. But you're not done yet. One of the advantages of Word 2010, at least most of the time, is that it tries to be intuitive by guessing what and how you prefer to write. Unfortunately, this means that Word 2010 assumes you will be writing for the web since much composition today is posted online. Therefore, when you hit enter to start a new paragraph, Word 2010 assumes you'll be using block paragraphing and it automatically places extra space between the paragraphs. To repair the default settings for spacing between paragraphs, on the Home tab, in the Paragraph group, click on the Dialog Box Launcher. Here, you will set the spacing before and after to zero. If you desire, you can also change the default to double spacing by setting the line spacing to double. Just remember that this will change the settings so that the next time you open Word, it will automatically double space your text. This is of course great for MLA conventions, but maybe not so good if you're creating other types of products. You can always quickly adjust the spacing by keying Control-1 for single spacing or Control-2 for double spacing while in your document. So whether or not you set it as your default is really up to you. When you are done determining the default spacing elements, click on the Set as Default button. Like before, check the box next to All Documents Based on the Normal Template and click OK. Now you're ready to move on to your next step, setting up your header.